Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's try an exercise of finding the slope of a few lines. And here we have the graph that gives us four lines and some specific points on the graph. We have the point 40, 60, 82, and 64. Notice that all four lines pass through the point 64. Now notice that whenever we are given the coordinates of a point, that the x value comes first and the y value comes next. And by now we should know that to find the slope, which is also defined by the letter m, is simply the difference between the two y values of two points divided by the two x values of two points. Now it really doesn't matter which point you call point 1 and which point you, can, you call point 2. You can actually interchange the two. So let's try that on our first one. Let's find the slope of line A. And so I, I can write it as m sub a, which means I find the slope for line A, and that is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So I go over here, and notice I can call this point 1, and I can call this point 2, indicated by p sub 1 and p sub 2, and those two points lie on the line A. And since this is point 2, that would be y2, this would be x2, this is y1 and x1. So we can write this as 2 minus 4 divided by 8 minus 6. Notice I call this point 2 and this point 1, so I take the coordinates of point 2 and subtract the coordinates of point 1. So this becomes minus 2 divided by 8 minus 6, which is 2, which is equal to negative 1. What if I had interchanged those? Now, by the way, if we look at it, it does look indeed like the slope is negative because as I go to the right on line, on line A, I drop in Y value. So now let's interchange the two. Now I'll do call this point two and call this point one. And so now I can take four minus two divided by six minus eight. And this is 2 divided by negative 2, and notice I get the exact same value. So it really doesn't matter which two points you pick on the line, when you take the difference of the y values and the difference of the x values, you will get the slope regardless which, which one you call point 1 and point 2. Now let's find the slope of B, M sub B. And notice that the, the line is vertical, which means there are no changes in the x direction, there's only a change in the y direction. Notice that this is 0 0.60 and this is 0.64. Notice that they both have the same x coordinate. So if there's no change in the x direction, that means the denominator is going to be 0, which means you end up with an undefined slope. So in this case, you can say I'll take uh, 4 minus 0 for the change in the y, divided by 6 minus 6 for the change in the x, which is equal to 4 over 0 which is equal to infinity or undefined. So either one would be a proper way of saying the answer. So for vertical lines, slopes are undefined or slopes are infinite. Another way of looking at it is that notice that the steeper, like we're like here, the steeper the slope gets, the higher the value for the slope, and eventually when the line becomes vertical, the slope becomes infinite. So that's a way to describe it. All right, how about C, line C, M sub C. And notice we can pick these two points right there. So I'll pick, I'll pick this is point 1 and this is point 2, or I can pick this is point 2 and this is point 1. It doesn't really matter, so let's call this point 2. Let's call this point 1. And so we first find the difference of the y values, 4 and 0. So it would be 4 minus 0 divided by the difference of the x values, 6 minus 4. So this gives me 4 divided by 2, or 2, so the slope of line C is equal to 2. That means the rise over the run, the change in Y to the change in X is 2 to 1. And finally, we're trying to find the slope of line D. Now notice line D is horizontal, and as we should know by now, that the slope of horizontal lines equals 0. But again, you can pick two points, you can pick this point right here, this is the point 0, 4. The x value is 0, the y value is 4, here you pick the point 6, 4, and so first you find the difference in the y values, and notice 4 minus 4 is 0, well if there's no difference in the y values, then there's no slope. 
So this would be 4 minus 4 divided by 6 minus 0, which is 0 over 6, which is 0. So in this case, you can see that horizontal lines have 0 slope, vertical lines have infinite slope or undefined slope, and for any other line, you simply take the difference between the y values and divide it by the difference in the x values. It's essentially the rise over the run, and that is how it's done.